Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Duffer's Review of the 19th Hole. This is where Duffers alike uh, come together and we talk about everything in golf and this week in golf. Uh, with that being said, it is the 19th hole, so we always want to throw a cheers up to everyone out there. Happy Friday. Cheers from Duffer One to you all. Um, brought to you in part by it's the Copper Rum. Best rum in the business, uh, at least for me, this rum drinker right here. Uh, just simply on ice. Oh, it hits the spot. All right. We're in a new season. This is this is some interesting stuff. We're going to start right off with uh, uh, the Shiners uh, Children's Open. Um, this is this is actually getting news for a pretty big reason. One of my favorite LPGA golfers uh, has made her debut on the PGA Tour. Lexi Thompson. Um, I would love to say not related, but I would rather say related. Um, reverse that. I would love to say uh, related, but she's not. Uh, but she is holding, don't let my wife hear this, she is holding my last name for a reason. Um, Lexi, uh, kick ass and take names while you're out there today. So, um, actually, she's doing quite well. Um, a lot of people were not expecting uh, Lexi's debut to be uh, anything um, uh, but like, oh, they're going to put from different tees. She's playing from the same tees as everybody else is out playing today. She's driving greens. Uh, she's showing up people left and right. Now, Here's, here's what's unique about this. Um, she is, uh, right now, uh, it's round two is in progress. Uh, she is tied for 84th. However, she's even on the day. Now, here's what's really unique. Um, I, I can't wait to hear the interviews afterwards. Um, just because I think this is such a huge step um, for golf uh, all the way around. I think this is also another huge step um, as they're playing with, you know, live golf. Uh, we just heard that they are not getting, uh, they're not recognizing live golf for the girl, uh, the golf world uh, rankings, which I think is great. I think the reasons why they didn't um, were spectacular, but also opening up the tour now to LPGA uh, members to be playing on the PGA tour. Um, I think this goes back to what we've been talking about kind of from jump with the whole division of, PGA versus Liv, now LPGA, playing in the PGA, um, I, I, and, and she's earning herself uh, FedEx Cup uh, points. So uh, like this is, I think this is great. Um, I think it's great overall round for golf because I think there are some spectacular female golfers that could just decimate, I think, half the field um, on the Pro Tour. Um, I, I think she's got a little... Um, jitters you know being you know she's she's setting the stage uh debuting you know in a field um for the first time in her camp you know uh on the pga tour so i'm looking really uh excited and forward to going into the weekend here um i hope she makes a move here i they haven't established the cut line um but i'm hoping you know they it, it's so she gets hit Tied for 84th. I don't know. I don't know whether there's the, the cut line is being set on this for this particular event. But the top players uh, right now in the event, um, again, I go back to, unfortunately, there are a lot of um, no names. Like, this is, I, I don't know if this is, this is one of those, um, you know, everyone who's just trying to get their, their few rounds in, just make sure they keep their card tournament uh, type of thing. The, the scores after two rounds, I think, again, are ridiculously low. Um, we're the top of the leaderboard right now is uh, Lacto Griffin and Cameron Champ tied with 12 under um, on day two. Um, again, I think the I think the courses are set up way too easy. So... I don't know. We will see it as the weekend kind of unfolds uh, and then push through uh, on that. Uh, here, so here's what we're going to talk about today. So I got two particular agendas. We have, um, there was a big prime prime deal day. Uh, Amazon put on a bunch of, you know, uh, created their own holiday, right? Uh, they give some prime deals and even though they run them every single day, they did a, what I call clear the warehouse uh, type of thing since they're building them everywhere across the nation. 
Uh, so they, they, they have what's the best Amazon Prime golf deal still available after the sale, right? Uh, golf Dive just put out a pretty good list. I'm going to kind of dive in a little bit deeper on some of these things, and I have some products here I'd like to talk and get some feedback from, you know, everyone out there, uh, what you prefer, you know, to utilize and how you set up your game, you know, from a travel, from a, guff, a tougher standpoint. Also, we're going to take a review at next week's Vacation Golf. Um, this is the big annual trip, the D&D Sandy Toads. We're heading back down to Mexico. Uh, we're going down to Acton Mall. Um, and the Duffer and crew uh, will be playing uh, uh, Riviera Maya down in uh, Acton Mall. So I'm cra cra crazy excited about that. We're going to review their uh, their website with you guys. This is kind of give you a little bit of what we do behind the scenes. Uh, when we look at courses and we're trying to, you know, scope out some of the information before going to play, uh, so we get some of our tidbit when we go out and actually do a review on the course. So, uh, you know, Riviera, this is your heads up. We're coming for you. Uh, we're going to be the judge of, you know, your guys' course. Um, with that being said, I want to jump into something I saw, and we're going to talk about it. I'm going to bring this screen over here so it's not looking off, off to the side here. Um, I wish I could hide these commercials, but I can't. So we're just going to play with this here. So Golf Dive just put out their big, um, you know, what, what Amazon deals or stuff, they're still being available to you. Uh, for sure, the shoes. So I want to talk about this because I don't know if it's still on here real quick. I hope it is. Uh, it's not. All right. So I saw a great article. So uh, there are a new set of Air Force Ones golf shoes. Um uh, by a designer that's being put out over in London. And they require, this is what I think is great. I think this should be done for any kind of limited edition, limited edition golf, anything, um, when it comes to people snacking them up for sneaker heads and just being these huge resellers. They're requiring you to uh, hit a, step up and, uh, and drive a golf ball. In order to buy the shoes, you've got to prove that you can hit over a 250-yard drive and or for the limit of 200-yard drive. I think this is brilliant for limited edition golf shoes, Air Force Ones. I stand behind this 110%. Uh, they give you two shots. Um, they didn't say anything about keeping it in, just getting me able to pound it. 200 yards for the females, 250 yards for the males. Um, I've got that all day. I can brag about that a little bit. Um, but unfortunately, I wish I, had a, I wish I had a photo of the shoes themselves. Um, not worth it in my idea. I think they're actually godfully ugly, but um, and I, me personally, and this is for drag, uh, you know, Mr. Uh, Drip out there. You know, who I'm talking to. Um, I don't think uh, I, I don't think the Air Force One lows should be on the course. Period. I think I think they're almost a little bit of a disgrace of a golf shoe uh, in their entirety to the uh, to being played out there. However, Amazon still does have some great deals. Uh, Foot Joys. Um, I love them. They're very, very light uh, shoe. But ever since I found the Nike uh, Air 270 Max golf shoes, I wear nothing else. Um, they are hands down. You guys have seen it in one of my other previous reviews. They are a five uh, premium shot shoe all day, every day. All right. Garmin. And uh, everyone's been bringing out these little devices to stick on the back of your clubs. Right, um, so you can track your your shots. Um, Cobra has one uh, built into the driver. Um, they've got the little secondary pucks, kind of like this Garmin one here. Um, and then I, I would love your guys' insight. I, I really would. I honestly think there are ways. I can't get that stupid app to work on that driver to save its life. Um, and it's I don't know. It's, I think they're very poorly made. I think they do not. Um, from everything that I've tested on them, they just do not track well enough. And I think you spend more time trying to click where your shot is, adjust it in the app, out of the app, gonna take your stuff to the range, go to Top Golf, do a range session there. It's full laser radar like that. You're getting your best accuracy from a, a training session at the range, anyways. All right, try to capture it on the course with these little doohickey devices. Absolute waste of money. I, it's a no review for me. I think there are ways. Backyard chip, shot, golf, chip. I actually think these are, are phenomenal. Um, I have two of them. I have two different versions for my backyard out near the putting green. Um, I think this, if you can take what you practice, 
from the you know your backyard or even if you're chipping in the house you know with things the only thing i recommend is chip with real golf balls get the real feel those that are using you know the indoor house balls the little fluff ones and stuff like that it will absolutely destroy your confidence out on the course you're not going to swing the same i think that's a poor aspect of, of, of practice um unless you're actually practicing with the real ball get the real feel get the real weight get the real impact that you're looking for when it comes to a chipping uh any type of chipping you know scenario uh we got a couple of uh, duffer rules when it comes to the backyard if i chip it out of the backyard and it's one of the neighbor's backyard you got to take a shot you know if i chip it into the pool it's two shots and depending on whether you got to go and retrieve it, uh, same session, uh, you know, otherwise uh, you got to take another shot for, you know, leaving the, the golf balls in the pool. Um, anyways, so here's here's where I really wanted to go with you guys. So who is digital? Who is at phone app base? And who is range finder? I just uh, invested in uh, the Blue Tees. This right here is a player pack bundle, which is kind of unique. Um, this offers a Bluetooth speaker, um, and it has the handheld range fighter. Um, it's got a, a uh, magnet pack for the speaker and a little ball receiver. However, they did just come out with the Player Plus, um, and I got it, right? I got it right here. The Player Plus, um, they combined it, right? The Player Plus uh, that they combined here is apparently uh, it's supposed to be very unique. I literally just got it today. So I'm really excited to get this out on the course and check it out. Um, tie it in with my favorite product from Desert uh, Golf uh, uh, Phone Caddy. Uh, you basically put the phone is where your the app lives, all right? It's got over 40,000 courses available at your fingertips. Um, it's touch screen. It's got 360 degree audio experience. Um, it's got a base boost on this thing. So um, hazard distances, visual and audible um, distances. Um, it can track your driving distance. Um, it's also got party mode pairing. So if more than one of you has this, you can pair the speakers up. Uh, for those that know, I have a pair of pairing speakers um, that I absolutely love. Um, these things, they have magnet backs and they pair, they put right in the cart. What I like is going to be unique about this is I'm also taking, I got a, a Nikon rangefinder, I got speakers, I have all this stuff I pack in the bag. Um, the reason I got this to test out this Blue Tees Player Plus is it's all combined. I've got it now all I've, I've consolidated. Um, I'm hoping to have the consolidation of the rangefinder versus the uh, speakers and everything else. What's great about this thing, it's got over a 10, 10 hour plus. So it's usually it's longer than most uh, rounds um, that, that, that most people play. And it is waterproof. Um, it's got over a 100 foot range from the phone to, to the device. Uh, it's got a whole bunch of pluses. I can't wait to get it out in the course for you. This will make its debut in Mexico um, uh, with this out at the debut course. Uh, so I'd love, to, I'd love to get some insight where you guys are. Are you guys an old school range finder? Here's the thing is, I'm a duffer. Um, I drink. So usually by the back nine, I got the Cool Shot 20 um, Nikon here. Uh, it's pretty decent. It's pretty accurate um, in comparison to when we're playing with carts that have the GPS in them. Um, I, this thing is pretty much about a yard, yard and a half, this difference um, on its mode. Problem is, I'm usually shaky on the back nine. So I usually can't hit the pin to save my life with this thing. So re, being able to move over to the app and track um, everything and have the speaker, have it tell me the yardage when I click on it, I think that's great. I'm excited to, you know, from a IT guy to, to have that combined um, technology all in one particular device. Uh, means I only have to charge one device now. My phone will be on, on ready. It's, you know, in the caddy. I think it's going to be great. Um, uh, so I'm really excited. Watch for the full review coming out on the Player Plus. Uh, will be, I'll have it back within probably two weeks for you guys. Um, because again, all next week is going to be vacation golf. Uh, so it's going to be all the shenanigans of being um, down in Mexico uh, on the D&D &D, uh, Sandy Toes trip. 
Um, which brings back to another device or another component. I get this question a lot, actually. Um, half the guys that are going down with us uh, this year actually called me and asked me, said, hey, uh, David, what, what is uh, your, um, what bag do you use? I use the SKB. It's a hard case um, bag. Um, I do not use the padded bags anymore. Um, despite some of the, the, some of the really, really good ones out there, uh, like golf caddy, golf, uh, uh, I think it's golf buddy or something like that is, is another one. Um, I don't because unfortunately it's not that the, the cases themselves are bad. It's those that are handling. Um, I'm not going to name names on the airlines and the staff, but they've had to replace two of my drivers, um, in, you know, in, in the traveling, uh, going back and forth. Uh, all over the nation and playing golf with you guys. So with that, after that second uh, damaged driver, I was done. I went hard case. Um, it is in some ways, not much, a little bit, you know, bulky. A lot of people, you know, as far as getting into rent of cars and stuff, but I make sure I try to rent, you know, accordingly. Um, what I have learned though, is I've never had an issue. And my hard case allows me just a little bit extra uh, packing room inside the case without any extra bulk and, and, and fluff all over the place. I've had a lot of people complain about these when they put their golf shoes or something in there. That too, when it gets tossed around, could damage or put, you know, pressure on another uh, components of their golf bag uh, and stuff inside of it. So I am a full component of hard case, find the best hard case for you. But here's a recommendation. Take your bag to wherever you're going to go re research the case that you're going to, you're going to use um, and, and fit it just like anything else. Just like you would go get club fitting um, your case, go get, take your bag with it at its best and fullest of stage and go fit it to the bag that you're going to, you're going to potentially choose. Um, again, duck for choice, hard case uh, all day long. All right. Now, Here's another one that uh, I've done uh, just because I travel so much. Um, and I actually use it for more than just my golf bag. Um, Apple AirTags. I'm an Apple phone user. Apple AirTags, best investment on the planet. Um, I hide these in not only my golf bag. Um, I hide them inside the uh, suitcases. Um, so even if I'm you know cruising between airports and planes and stuff of that nature, I know immediately. Is my bag right behind it? Um, and we started utilizing these after a big trip we took to Vegas. Um, it was a birthday trip out to Vegas, so one of my buddy's clubs didn't show up um, with him on the flight. So we actually went, checked in the hotel, had to move this one around, dropped the wives off, went back to the airport and knew we were, got the clubs off the second flight, went right to the, you know, the course. It was such a, a nightmare in search. And we wasted almost an hour, hour and a half at the airport, you know, trying to just determine where the clubs were. You have to realize that they didn't make it on the flight. With the Apple Air Tags, um, there it, it just eliminates that uh, that frustration uh, all day. Now Unfortunately, I've done I've uh, I've done a little mistake with one of these, and I've learned make sure when you're using your Apple Air tags, hide them inside the bag of places. Find a place inside. Some golf bags have a little clip inside for like keys or something. Clip your Air tags inside the bag, not on the outside of the bag, like I unfortunately did, um, because my golf bag right now, my my Air tag for my golf bag. Uh, is showing in uh, Los Ramos Golf Course in California, somewhere around like the third or fourth hole uh, on the North Course. So make sure you actually are storing this in the bag uh, versus on the bag and, and, and having a chance to get knocked off. Um, because believe it or not, on my last trip to Reno, I actually thought my clubs were somewhere else until I realized it was in the middle of a golf course uh, of such. So we just kind of talked about that in the combination of the JBL. The, a lot of people have talked great about this for $90. Um, this waterproof portable Bluetooth speaker I think is great. I have a mini JBL. Um, this little subwoof speaker, I've got a couple of golf buddies that use this all the time. They love it. The battery life on this thing is great. Uh, it's something like 15 playing hours um, just on the speaker itself. Uh, great. Um, there's some other range finders. Again, here's the, the, the cool shot one I have. Um, this is a 2.0 on this one here. Again, a really good, uh, you know, 
if you're in for the handheld, you know, device, I am not. Um, I am excited to try the uh, the other one. Um, so there's a ton of sales on the um, devices for the GPS, you know, area. Apple's got a whole bunch of stuff that are associated with golf uh, out there now. I'm going to talk about this one here real quick. Size this down just one second so you guys can get that. Push cart. My wife's got a push cart. Um, if you are in an area where you can play and walk, um, the, the the push carts out there, uh, I think they're great. The wheels like this, non-air wheels, all right, like these, these flat wheels here are, I think, better um, for any particular course you're, you're playing in your search, because some of the ones we have that have the air in them, um, it makes just for uh, very hard to clean. Um, it, if they do lose air while you're, you're on the course or something, you don't, it doesn't come with a pump, you know, associated or on it. I've learned between the two and playing and walking some courses, this is a better route to go, the hard wheels versus the wheels that need air. Now, as far as a particular brand over the other, anyone that has a good strap down, as you can see here, uh, the strap that goes over the bag itself, not the ones that just the bag lays in there. Um, because not every course is super flat, and I'm sure you've seen plenty of you know reels and stuff out there of carts getting away from them. Um, so there are some great ones. Sun Mountain is the one that we have. I think it's a great push cart. Um, the four wheel caddy, the caddy tech. I think it's gone a little too far in that one. That's almost like a super, like you might as well just get a cart at that point uh, instead of pushing this bad boy around. Um, everyone, I don't know if you guys have known this, everyone all over the place now is turning their little mini man caves into in-house uh, golf simulators. Uh, massive stuff you can, you know, just slapping balls into and stuff of that nature. Uh, the ISO Golf True Trainer here um, is great. <laughs> for like chipping this is great to hit maybe small like your wedges in close windows do not play a full-blown irons or driver into this thing um it the if you don't believe me just hit youtube um these things are splitting like crazy golf balls flying through this shattering glasses or something like this this is an easy backyard little uh thing the one thing i like about this um concept if they get a better material it would be it would be a thousand times better but concept is i love the view you get a little bit better uh, visual on impact of aim and visualization on the course i think it's a brilliant idea putting a golf shot you know a fairway and stuff like that out there um to give you you know a concept of you know make sure you humor it between the, the you know the lines and what you're aiming at one of the best things without actually having a simulator or a screen that you can see the results from the track man or something is being able to at least say, Hey, I can see impact on here. You know, was that low? Was it high? Um, you know, perspective, um, that, you know, just some, some of the, you know, concepts of that, um, different bags and everything out there. We talked about that already. Some of the sun mountain bags and stuff. I mean, there's some still some great sales, some great deals, uh, on stuff there from Amazon. So if you're, if you're looking, these are the gifts that are coming up, you know, for the, uh, you know, the holiday season we're about to jump into. Um, Amazon still has some great, great op options uh, for that golfer uh, you may be looking for. So, guys, just going to recap real fast. Go hard case. Go full digital. All right. Let me give you the full review on this. I'm going full digital. Combine your multiple different devices of speakers and, and range finders and stuff like that down into one. Make your make your bag easier to carry without, you know, 16 other different things you have to bring out there with it. Uh, besides, you want to make sure you have more room to sneak in, you know, your libations uh, while you're out there golfing. Right. All right. This is vacation golf. We're going to talk about this vacation golf. I don't think there's any other golf more fitting or fun to enjoy than vacation golf. Going on a guy's trip, that's a getaway, right? You know, it's not, that's that's always, you know, top notch. You're out there with your bunnies and everything like this. When I talk about vacation golf, it's the all-inclusive. 
All right. We're 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 taking on the resort, the ultimate, you know, cuisines, um, all the availabilities of to be able to play uh, courses and stuff in the nature. Here's what I like about this one. I'm so excited about this is the Riviera Maya. One, it's a PGA course. It is an official um, uh, PGA Association Ethnic Club. They play tournaments and stuff down this course, um, and they always keep it in what they say in top-notch shape. Well, I'm definitely going to be the judge of that, all right? River Maya. Here's the other thing. I, I kind of give it a little bit of a uh, – uh, I'm excited because it is managed and maintained by Troon. Um, the Troon Golf Facilities um, right now as a whole of the number of different courses we've played, Troon is leading the pack from a golf man management um, uh, uh, team. Uh, their courses are always taken to just the next level. Um, whether it is meeting you at the uh, car with a cart, um, making sure that, you know, they're getting your bags onto the cart and stuff for you, um, keeping, you know, a course actually very well kept uh, and designed and cut very, you know, streamlined. As you can kind of see here through some of their pictures. Now, what I am going to do is we're going to jump over here to the course because I have five minutes left here with you, with you guys today. And I want to talk about the course itself. Um, which I'm crazy excited. So the championship course, uh, one website alone, hands down. I, I I'm, I've got to give them five beers on their website. Um, I get on so many websites as we go out and, and we're choosing the courses that we're playing. When a duffer, you know, says, "Hey, you know, we want you to guys come out and play. We want to review this course." First thing we do is we hit their website. Right. I go check out their website. I go to check out and see the scorecard. Uh, I try to see what they're saying about their particular course, what's behind it. Um, PGA or Troon or who, the, the Riviera has made sure to put together a very good um, display from a website standpoint of how their course resolves. I mean, and here's a perfect example. This is hole one, right? Uh, Riviera uh, Maya, uh, the championship course. Um, and this is just a flyover. They have a video for all 18 holes here, right, that are doing a flyover. You're already next level here. This this right here is, this is such a great sneak peek into what is, you know, yet to come. I'm hoping it is, is in condition as they've obviously chose the best time to go film this. Um, but this is a great representation. Now, as far as seeing it, I love that I'm, I'm filming this and I almost want to question and go, this is a par four. Um, what they just shot in this video makes it look like it's a par six because that looks like it's a long way uh, on this particular uh, uh, flyover. But each hole here, as you can see, you know, has its own flyover. It's got its own little picture backdrop, and it's got its own flyover per hole, um, which makes the, reviewing this website, I, I give it to you, five beers. This is probably one of the best websites put together uh, in preparation for, you know, reviewing a golf course. This, I mean, this I think is almost like the standard, you know, for us duffers that want to look at a course, you know, and see is it worthwhile? Is it worth the play? Uh, this, is, this is a great example. Now, as you can see, very wide open. Has some, you know, uh, challenges as you get closer to the green with some fairway sand traps, some, you know, sand traps that you go along. But this is what I could tell you from vacation golf. When you're going to uh, resorts that these courses are tied together by, um, you know, uh, play, you know, from every one of the resorts. One of the things I can tell you is it's, it's designed. It's designed to play and keep pace moving, uh, play in fashion of the golfer. However, as you can see, these these are very fairway tight. So even though they're wide, any kind of big slice or hook, and I can promise you, you will see a few from my video um, as we go and play this year, um, is there's a lot of trees. There's This is kind of one of those, you I mean, miss, miss, in, <laughs> in bounds. Uh, the OB here, as you can see on these, these first three flyovers, um, is nothing but trees. It is nothing but hazard and, and change if you're not keeping it in play. Um, last time we were down, uh, I can tell you this much, 
you don't want to get out into the thick of it all, uh, especially anywhere near the water, um, because I'm not looking to uh, meet up with the gators. Um, uh, last uh, last year, and we got some great footage of that of Kendall going not believing that there was a live gator on one of the things. He's like, oh, no, it's a plastic one. And he goes, drive closer, drive closer. I said, look, I know I can outrun you, buddy. Um, and he got there, and that gator closed his mouth. I think it's one of the best clips ever. Go check it out on our YouTube of that, of him uh, almost defecating himself right there in the cart. Um, so, again, I'm going to play these courses very well. Um, my goal is to play all 27 holes. Uh, it is a 27-hole championship course. So I have three nines. Uh, but they also have a par three course, which we're looking to bring all the wives out for a mini little uh, nine hole par three uh, course because some of the wives want to play. So we're going to try and do an event where all of us kind of come over there, uh, chip and putt on the par three uh, nine hole course, a little executive course while we're out there. Uh, so I'm crazy excited about this. Uh, I, again, you saw the four the, the flyovers. They go into detail, as you can see here, on each one of the holes. Um, uh, at yardage you know, as you're playing up and down and in points, you know, it is very, very well put together. Video per hole, a uh, nice little blurb about each one. Um, and here you look right here, water snake in the Mayan, like they are literally talking and telling you, hey, you know, stay in the fairway. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, this is another Duffer's Review 19th hole where we come together and we talk about everything golf. I talked about some equipment today, some hints towards those Christmas gifts that are bound to come. We're in the season. It's here. I'm going to get back from vacation, and it's literally going to be Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, boom, we're in the new year. Um, the, the last quarter of the year is always the most lightning uh, fast of them all. Um, but luckily enough, I am um, I am in Arizona, so I will be golfing all year round. Uh, Colin, what's up? Uh, and uh, it's it, and I'm inviting all of those that you know uh, are becoming snowbirds in the sense to come down and play some of the best courses in Arizona, so we can get out there and film and review. Guys, make sure you like, subscribe, throw it in the chat, just like Colin did. Um, Colin, what is up, man? I'm throw your thing up there. I appreciate you dropping in. Um, you know you're invited down here. You know in the winter stretch here. Um, you know, play some golf when it's still going to be nice and beautiful down here in Arizona. Um, it's 88 degrees right now. This is perfect golf weather. Um, so come on down uh, and enjoy. With that being said, again, like, subscribe. Let me know where you want to play. I went out to Reno. I come out to, I went out to California to play with some of the best uh, duffers around there. Challenges are still uh, pending. North Carolina, we're coming back for you. Looks like we're going to have to take this back to the tournament. Uh, not only I have to come and beat you guys down, but I have to beat you at your own tournament as well. Um, but excited to always do so. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, this is Duffer One, and I'm out. Enjoy your weekend, uh, and just remember, keep on swinging.